Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A4E Skyhawk and we're looking at taking off and landing on a carrier. So we've got a fresh started A4 here. It's going to be from a runway takeoff from a CV Stennis. So, okay. Now the first thing, note this Stennis is moving and as such my plane will start just rolling backwards. It's just it's something that's a little buggy at the moment. I'm sure it'll be fixed soon. But it's not a problem, you just hold the wheel brake and then that's that sorted. Next we need to hook up. We can now, at this point, March 2019, hook up and use the catapult properly. So, uh, we can do it from inside the cockpit. We get guidance from text in the top right, but I'm just going to show you. I'm going to do it from external view. So we have to move ourselves forward with our front wheel in that area just behind the catapult lug. When we do that, it will either automatically hook up itself and if it doesn't hook up itself, then we can force it. We've got these commands here. We've got ready catapult we've uh, that will get us hooked up we've got catapult shoot if it doesn't shoot automatically which it always has done in my experience and we can catapult abort there okay so i'm going to go slightly forward into that area just before the lug hold there and it's not hooked me up automatically so i'm going to hook it myself with left oh and one and that's us hooked in. We don't have to do anything now. Back to the cockpit. Now we're just going to do our usual setup. So we're going to arm our spoilers. We're going to bring our flaps down to half. We're going to take our nose trim up to eight. We're going to turn our floodlight on so we can see a little better. And that is us good and ready to go. So now it's just full throttle, stick neutral. And when it's ready, catapult, off we go. Whee! Beautiful. You see there's a bit of a transition in the flight model there where um, it goes from onboard to uh, uh, flying. And that's just how it is at the moment. Right, gear up. And we flaps up. I'm going to turn into a left-hand circuit now. Our circuit speed is going to be about 225 knots. And our circuit altitude is going to be 1,000 feet. So let's get that done downwind now we're going to pass the carrier and extend about two miles to give us uh, plenty of approach time in the meantime we're going to start preparing the bird so we're preparing for the base turn so we're going to start coming off the gas now we're going to start prepping the flaps we're going to work our way all the way down to full flaps a little bit high here but it's, uh, it's not a problem flaps down check spoilers spoilers are already armed from the takeoff so that's fine trim as necessary to keep trim neutral throughout the flight starting to reduce power now and down to 150 so gear can come back out we need our hook down h for hook check the location of the carrier i think that's just about good so we're going to do our base turn in now uh, we want to do our base turn roughly about 150 knots keeping circuit altitude i'm slightly above circuit altitude here of 1200 1300 but it's about near enough we're going to keep checking the changing the trim and checking our position with the carrier to make sure we can come out on the right angle now as for the actual final approach then our speed is going to be dictated by our weight i'm just going to pause it here so i can talk a bit better uh, rather than having a set speed we're going to have a set angle of attack a bit like the hornet so the speed will just depend on your weight so rather than trying to set a certain speed i'm going to work to the angle of attack indexer here so if we've got this red kind of arrows here then it means that we're too fast our angle of attack is too low if we get the circle here then we're bang on that is at the correct speed because we're at the correct angle of attack and if we get a green arrow up here that means we are too slow and our angle of attack is too high the idea is to have the circle so we're at the correct angle of attack for landing and that's important because for the uh, arrestor hook to work properly on the wires we have to be at the right angle of attack the same as the hornet so regards instruments, all I'm really using is the AOA index, uh, indexer here and the meatball when we get close enough on the left side of the carrier. So let's get it done and pause there. Double check everything while we've got a chance. Our hook is down, our gear is down, our flaps are down. Spoilers armed, we're all good. So we're too slow now. And we're just about on speed now, so let's try and keep that speed if we can. 
too fast. And we shouldn't really be any need for air brakes. Unless we're doing something wrong. My eyes are too bad for the meatball, which is not very useful. A little bit faster. On speed. Too fast. High. Power down. On speed. Let's try and keep that this time. Too slow. And we're just going to drive it into the wires, basically. And that's it. Simple as that. And now you'll notice, um, and that was one of my not so good approaches which is typical as soon as I turn the camera on you notice I managed to land even though I wasn't on the circle there it's just because I was close enough to whatever it is I think it's about 10 degrees 9 degrees something like that so you don't have to be bang on perfect but you need to be as near to that circle as possible my approach wasn't very smooth I was adjusting my power up and down a lot ideally once you've got into the center of the angle of attack index so you'll hold that exactly there and then just come down on a much smoother glide slope just takes a few practice runs that'll do for now I hope that helps and see you later